Hey folks, welcome back. This is a short video on surf fishing and I only caught two fish during this trip. But mainly I wanted to show you guys how I cook my fish. And this is probably the main way I cook fish. Um, whether it be trout, surf perch, rockfish or any other fish. Um, it's just really, really simple. And to catch a surf perch, I'm using clam necks in this video. Normally I use uh, gulp sand worms, but today I decided to use uh, clam necks. Um, clam necks works really good. You can easily catch surf perch with them and they make really good bait. And to keep the clam necks on the hook, I'm using spider thread um, or magic thread, same thing. With spider thread, they stay on a hook for quite a long time. So you can fish like almost a whole day. For my hooks, I'm using a size one circle hooks. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go, finally, finally. Oh no, I lost it. Dang, I lost it, man. That osprey, no, 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 bring it, walk back, keep walking, keep walking. He's that bird trying to catch it. Oh, the two ospreys looking for my fish. Here we go, guys. Okay, all right, stop. Beautiful fish. Ah, yeah, there we go. Good job, buddy. Yeah, good job. Yep, there we go. It's been a long time. We're gonna keep it today. Yep. Oh, another one, another one, guys. Fish on, fish on. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's bring the sucker in. Feels like a pretty small one, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep him. Come on, buddy. See how big you are. Boy, it feels good to be catching surf perch again. Feels so dang good. It's been a long time. Come on. Oh, actually it feels pretty good. Oh, it's about the same size. It's about the same size. Oh yeah, about the same size. Sweet! Beautiful looking fish. Look at that hook set guys, right on the side of the mouth. There's a cast. Good cast. Good cast. Oh, that's a hit. Oh my goodness. I missed it. I missed it. Man, that's a good hit. Dang! Come on, baby. One more time. All right, folks. So we didn't do too well during that trip. We only caught two surf perch. But I'm going to show you how I prep the surf perch for cooking. And it's really easy. And for uh, our first ingredient, you're going to need ginger. And you're also going to need green onions. Next, you're going to need Maggie seasoning. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to combine the surf perch, the scallion, the green onions, and the um, ginger all in one bag. And then you add in the Maggie seasoning sauce. Now once you do all that, you can combine it, you can um, marinate it really well. Just move the bag around, squish it a little bit, try not to break the meat. And then I put it in the refrigerator overnight uh, for about 24 hours. Okay, so here they are. Uh, they've been left overnight. As you can see, the soy sauce. Turns them uh, kind of a, 
um, red color and now when you cook these and you find out oh it's too salty just of course cut back on the salt so not a big deal okay trial and error so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse it out um, with fresh water cold water and then we're gonna put them on some uh, paper towels and uh, dry them out just blot out the just soak up the moisture before we put them in the hot pan okay guys so now we're gonna heat up the pan and we're gonna put in some olive oil and once the pan is hot, we're going to toss in the fish fillet. All right, I got the pan going here at medium heat. And I'm going to toss in the fillet. Okay, there we go. The uh, fillet is in. And once again, medium heat. Now I go for about uh, four to five minutes per side. And I like to cook these a little thorough because sometimes they do have worms in them uh, that you so you want to kill those parasites now they're harmless once you kill them you know they're perfectly fine but uh, yeah so let's wait another four or five minutes and we'll flip them okay so here they are after about five and a half minutes and what we're gonna do is we are going to flip them over And that's what they look like. And after I flip them over, because they're pretty much almost done, we're just going to go about maybe three, three and a half minutes, and that should be it. Uh, one thing to remember here, if you're cooking fillets like this, you always want to have a non-stick pan. Um, I use a brand called TE Chef. Um, they're really good. Uh, I like them a lot. I've used uh, many, many brands before, but I just prefer to... TE Chef because um, they they have a pretty awesome nonstick and it you don't have to use oil and uh, it just flows right off the pan so I recommend nonstick pans um, but no matter what kind of pan you use even nonstick I do add oil okay so well yeah that's about it guys so just want to show you how I cook these perch um, hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you next time have fun fishing tight lines.